Hello guys and welcome back to the Drumbotics channel. I've spent a couple of months upgrading my Drumbotics kit and it is going to get released soon, so don't miss out on that. I had some problems to fix because in my last competition, the Drumbotics kit placed only sixth. The biggest problem was that my polypropylene drum was not balanced and my robot was shaking when I spun the weapon more than 30%. But I always used polypropylene in my drum and now it started shaking. Why is that? Well, I think it's because I changed my motor from 1407 to 1404, and now it doesn't press fit straightly into my soft drum, so I needed to find a filament that is harder but still has a high impact strength. After lots of printing and testing and failing, I came up with this differently looking drum that is made from nylon. I haven't worked with it, so I had to test it in my arena. My teammate has some good ant weights that I'll be able to test on them. Nylon is very flexy and it feels like TPU but is much harder. For the teeth, I used to use these 5mm long screws, but now, because nylon is heavier, I must use even shorter ones. Now the frame. I've made some changes to it, like these walls that prevent electronics to touch. I used to use ABS filament for my frame, but they kept cracking after big hits. I asked in the Antweight Facebook group about ABS or should I use it, and most of the replies said to use carbon fiber nylon. That's what I did. Bought the nylon, printed my frame, and now it only needed to be tested. In my last competition with Taitotu, my footage and sound was bad. So now, I was ready with two 4K cameras at different angles and a microphone inside the arena for the best quality sound. So now, I was ready to test. And also, I was fighting with my egg beater Taitotu and it was insane. That video will come out soon too. For my first match, it was against the vertical spinner with a 40 gram blade. I wanted to test if my drum cracks, so I thought this would be a great match. There will be no time limit, just messing around and battling until someone dies or runs into a hole. Let's see how I did. Nice, easy one. Okay, the first fight was great, hit him a couple good shots and into the hole. The second fight was going great, but I suddenly stopped working? What happened? I looked and I saw that this switch lost contact with my battery and died. And also, my nylon drum screws was shearing out so I needed to fix that for tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day. I designed a new drum design with these hills so that it would not shear after impacts and re-soldered my switch, so I was ready. Next, I will be fighting Hydra, this powerful wedge flipper. My tactic would be to drive around his side and try to break his flipper. Let's see how it went.
Okay, I broke his flipper and from then I just went for the kill. Hydra taped his front so he could fight again, so let's see how I did. One more. Nice, easy win. As you can see, the Drumbotic Kit has these little aluminum forks, so he has a chance against wedges. My next fight was a rematch against this vertical spinner. He printed a new cover and added a second belt for a more powerful weapon. My battery was running out as I didn't charge my battery for four whole matches. For now, everything goes as planned. My drum screws aren't shearing, and my switch is fixed. For my couple last fights, I saved the best for last, this insane 200 gram drum spinner with a 40 gram drum. This is vertical against vertical, so I had to spin my drum 100% and be aware of the big hits. So let's see what happened. All right, nice lucky hit, hit him into the hole. Although he hit me with this crazy shot, but nothing happened to me. This was a short one, so we fought again. Oh wow, that was fast. Because I was spinning my weapon faster, it resulted in bigger hits. Well, I'm happy with the Drumbotics kit, but it has just one more thing to be fixed. It's when my robot does this. I always end up on my back. I mean, I have some self-right options like gyroing into my good side or hitting a wall with my drum, and it works very well. But for not so good drivers, it is not easy. I have an idea that hasn't been tested yet, but I think it'll work. 
I designed back forks so that they would not let my robot go upside down and it is only plus half a gram of weight. I will post an update if it works, but I'm pretty sure it does just by looking at it. At the end, my bot looks like this. No big damage. Polypropylene sides absorb some of the hits, but that's what they're supposed to do. My drum didn't shake and didn't break, so transitioning from polypropylene to nylon was a great idea. So that's it. If you have any questions, ask me here in the comments. I'll be happy to answer every last one of them. We will keep you guys updated on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.